Chendiok Gung Palace Facts in South Korea Chendiok Gung Palace is one of the five grand palaces in Seoul, South Korea. Here are some facts about it. UNESCO World Heritage Site, Chendiok Gung Palace, along with its Huon, Secret Garden, is designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its historical significance and traditional Korean architecture. Joseon Dynasty, it was built during their Joseon Dynasty in 1405 as a secondary palace to Jaeyong Bukgung Palace. It served as the main royal palace for 270 years. By one Secret Garden, the palace is known for its beautiful by one or Secret Garden, which was exclusively for the royal family. It features exquisite landscaping, pavilions, and lotus ponds. Architectural beauty, Chengdeok Gung is admired for its harmony with the natural environment. The architecture and layout of buildings consider the surrounding mountains and streams. And Yonggeon Hall, this is the main hall of the palace and was used for important state affairs, including the coronation of kings. It's an example of traditional Korean architecture. Byong Jiong Pavilion, a picturesque pavilion located in the Baiwan area. Its reflection on the pond creates stunning photo opportunities. Closed on Mondays, the palace is closed to the public on Mondays to help preserve its historic structures and environment. Visit restrictions to protect the palace and its garden. Visit numbers are limited, and tours of the secret garden are guided. Filming location. Chengdeok Gung Palace has been a popular filming location for historical Korean dramas and movies due to its authentic atmosphere. Changing seasons, the palace is especially beautiful in spring when cherry blossoms bloom and in autumn when the foliage turns vibrant shades of red and orange. King Jumung, also known as Dangun Wangum, is a legendary figure in Korean history and folklore. Here are some facts about him. Founder of Gogoraiyo, Jumung is believed to be the founder of their Gogoraiyo Kingdom, one of the three kingdoms of Korea, which existed from around 37 BC to 668 AD. His reign is often dated to the late 1st century BC. Birth and Parentage According to legend, Jumung was born from an egg that his mother, Yawa, laid after being impregnated by Himosu, the son of the heavens. This legendary birth is similar to the creation myth of Korea's foundation, which involves a divine origin. Sword Skill Jumung was known for his exceptional archery skills and mastery of sword play. These martial skills played a significant role in his rise to power. Jija Joseon, Jumung is sometimes associated with the mythological Jija Joseon, a legendary ancient Korean kingdom founded by Jija, a sage from China. The connection between Jumung and Jija is a subject of historical debate and folklore. Consolidation of power, Jumung's rise to power involved overcoming various challenges, including conflicts with rival tribes and kingdoms. He eventually established his own kingdom, Gogoraiyo, in the northern Korean peninsula. Marriage to Sozyono, Jumung is famous for marrying Sozyono, who was a skilled warrior and leader in her own right. Together, they played a pivotal role in the early history of Gogoraiyo. Legacy, King Jumung is a celebrated figure in Korean culture and history, and his story is often dramatized in historical dramas, films, and television series. Historical records, while there are historical accounts of Gogoraiyo, it's important to note that much of Jumung's life is shrouded in legend and mythology. The historical accuracy of his existence and deeds can be challenging to verify. Continued reverence, despite the passage of time, King Jumung continues to be revered in South Korea as a symbol of national identity and heritage. Modern depictions. His story has been adapted into various forms of media, making him a prominent figure in contemporary Korean and popular culture. It's essential to recognize that the legend of King Jumung is a blend of historical accounts and mythology, making it a complex and enduring part of Korean cultural heritage. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe.